Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about friction welding compared to arc welding. Today we're going to talk to you about arc welding. There are many different types of arc welding. And compare it to friction welding. Why would you, you would use one versus the other? And to be quite honest, as a friction welding manufacturer, we typically will involve an arc welding process into some parts that we manufacture uh, in our manufacturing services division uh, for other people. So for example, we might make uh, an axle weld with friction welding and then use a uh, uh, arc welding process to weld some brackets on it. So there is a time and a place for each welding process. Uh, we put uh, some representative heat affected zones from different processes on the board to demonstrate some of the differences. And please don't call us because we mix and match some fusion processes in there uh, with, with arc welding. Typically with arc welding, and uh, TIG and MIG are good examples, you'll have a third material uh, that is melted through some sort of energy process uh, in between the two components that you want to join in order to make that joint. Uh, that obviously has an impact from a, from a quality and a strength perspective. But we've also added on here uh, plasma welding. We're using plasma energy to melt the parent material together in order to make a weld. You have laser and EB welding uh, on here, which again, you're either using a laser or an electron beam to melt the parent material in, in order to get the two parts to join. And typically, the narrower the heat effect is zone, maybe the weld strength uh, is increasing as a result of it. The key here is that you are melting the material, uh, whether it's the parent material or a third material, in the weld zone. And the impact of that can be cost. Um, it can be much cheaper to weld your component this way, but you may have a safety issue, or a performance issue, or a quality issue, uh, even a cycle time issue. It might take longer uh, to weld these parts compared to, to friction welding. We often get people come to us with fusion applications uh, that are having quality issues and want to switch to friction welding. And a good example of this historically is a hydraulic cylinder rod. These are usually done, or have been done with uh, submerged arc welding, uh, where you're making multiple passes around welding this eye uh, to the bar. Whereas we can do it much faster with much higher quality uh, because it's a solid state joint uh, in friction welding. And as a result, we get very good tension strength uh, out of this component that's, that's friction welded. So friction welding, as we've mentioned, is a solid state joining process. Uh, so you don't have any, any welding. We've shown a superimposed theoretical size of heat affected zone uh, in here. If you're curious, the differences uh, between the different processes. Um, we use friction, well, we build friction welding equipment. We use friction welding in our manufacturing services department to weld components for you. And if you have a quality issue with one of your fusion welds, whether it be an arc weld or not, please bring it to us and we'd be happy to show you what we can do with a friction weld. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.